Hey guys, welcome back to another All Things Nerd podcast. My name is Nathan, and I'm joined here tonight with Caleb and Shiloh. What's up, guys? Hey, hey, what's going, on, Nathan? Oh, you know, doing a podcast. <laughs> Thanks for allowing me on here as a guest. <laughs> you're, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> Featuring this guy. <laughs> and um, tonight, guys, we're going to be talking about The Last of Us, uh, the, the game, and also talking about Last of Us, the TV show. Uh, we brought on Shiloh tonight because he is an expert in all things The Last of Us, kind of like all things nerd. Um, what's up, Shiloh? I'm doing really great. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was talking to him, actually. <laughs> um, Nathan, I can, I can see how he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you... Uh... <laughs> We brought on Shadow to talk about The Last of Us. So, Shadow, if you kind of want to explain a little bit between the show and the, uh, you know, the, the game comparison, but start out how it kind of starts out. Sure. Um, man, it's crazy. Uh, first of all, what's kind of nuts to think about is the show is just starting out um, around the 10th anniversary of the initial release of the game, if you guys didn't know that. I, that popped in my head when I was watching yeah. it. I was doing the, the numbers. Yeah. I was like, wait, oh hold gosh. on. I was just thinking like, oh, I'm so old because I actually pre-ordered that game, me and John. Right. Um, and um, <clears throat> it came out in June 2013, something like that. Uh, but it was 2013. And yeah, I was like, oh, wow. It's literally just a few months shy of its 10th anniversary. So it's like kind of crazy to, you know, to right. see that. But um, was 18, holy crap. Yeah. yeah. Actually, one of the things I thought of too was... Um, not to cut you off, but uh, when it, when I because I was doing the math when it started, I was like, "Wait, hold on, this came out 2013." I was like, "Shiloh and John, they knew each other this long," and I was like, "I could have swore I remembered either you or or me even talking about it, you know, discussing it at one point, being like, you know how cool it'd be if they made a TV show or movie of this." I did, and then just right. to just to think of like. Ten years later, they're like, "We're we're doing it." Numbers, right? No, for real. Me. And well, the thing is, too, like, film takes a long time, and I feel like as just regular people were like, oh, this happened pretty quick. But I feel like, I, I don't know, it might have started like maybe three years ago or two, three years ago, maybe, if that, um, you know, or maybe even before like the pandemic. I'm not really sure when they started shooting the show, but it could have been a few years back. But still, yeah, it's like, wow, if you think about it, it's like, okay, they finally did it. <laughs> yeah, right. I think they did a great job um, so far. Um, yeah. And I, I know with the show, um, so obviously with the gameplay, it start that starts at night, you know, with uh, Sarah, she's waking up. Um, for this one in the show, on the HBO show, they actually start where it's the beginning of that morning. Um, what do you think of that? Like with that, I guess you could say creative difference, which isn't even a creative difference. It's just something they just started earlier in the day. Right. But that sort of thing, the whole setup, how did that make you feel and then like what was the kind of the thoughts your initial thoughts about it when it first kind of came up and then it's in the house they're waking up and then they're introducing these actors on screen as these characters that you've known to sound and look like different people since 2013 <laughs> like what did you think about that um yeah i thought it's a couple of things jumped to mind like the first thing is like when i was first watching the episode um obviously like right away i was like okay this is happening in the, this is morning not night okay that's kind of interesting and then but like right as soon as she gets downstairs um and she's like getting ready to prep breakfast and joel hasn't even like fully like like come to yet and like whatnot they're even just their initial re like interactions with each other and whatnot it was very much just like okay this is this is the same scene but it's also a different scene because again we didn't have the morning right in the game you know right and when you started it was nighttime she woke up and Joel was just kind of getting back from work and whatnot, and we haven't mm -hmm. gotten there yet. But um, their initial reactions, like right away, like him kind of being like a little lackadaisical and a little bit like kind of ugh, out of it because he hasn't had his Folgers yet, you know. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, and then of course she's like, she gets some orange juice, you know, and she's like, I didn't see. Like, so there's that very much that like uh, those those like, little nods to yeah the little nods yeah. and like, uh, like her kind of like as like sort of like almost like the caretaker of him like when he's home yep. he's, yeah. he's the one who's taking care of her she's really taking care of him so I right. didn't really feel like that uh, that encapsulated that but um, mm. I don't know how much time to talk about it but yeah I mean if anything my kind of one of my thoughts about it was um, with them starting in the morning I think a lot of what they did 
was well thought out and it was something that they did intentionally, not just to do it differently, but my take on it was when I was watching it, it was in the morning. Yeah. I felt like what they were doing on purpose was stretching out this episode longer because in the game, let's say this just came out as a TV show, you know, no game existed. It's just the last of us. If you were to watch a TV show and you're like, eh, what's this show about? And you press play. And then the, in the morning, it's just, Oh, what's the sound? And then there's helicopters and it gets straight into the show. And then the whole, you know, the yeah. end of the episode happens. You're like, what did <laughs> I just watch? You know? Yeah. That would be huge, but I feel right. like it's great that they stretched it out. Um, yeah. the day and one so you get a little familiar with the characters on screen they give right. you enough time to feel for them care for especially them for, get to know for them non game fans like right who haven't had a chance to play the game or watching mm -hmm. the show they can they can go along with it too like, right that too but i, I feel like it. as for one with it being so long it stretched enough time where it made people who are new and never played the game be like oh, what's this about and they're kind of excited about it. they don't know what's going to happen I feel like for gamers who have played The Last of Us, they're just kind of like nails are in the, the rest yeah. on their seat. Yeah. And they're like, come on, get to the point. They know what's going to happen. So it's like the it's it's so intense. But then just the suspense is just killing people. So that's why I thought it was a great idea. Yeah. They started it in the morning, yeah. Yeah. Um, gave you enough time, but then also gave you enough time to feel a little more comfortable with the new faces and voices oh, that yeah. you're seeing and hearing yeah. on screen right. where by the time it showed it in the morning she woke up joel and you know it's in the morning she's like orange juice um helping him making breakfast for his birthday in the morning that whole setup once it kind of hit that moment that's when i was like i feel comfortable to me right. they, no, they feel yeah. exactly it, it, like they're just it, the same characters it didn't take on screen. Me very, yeah no i agree it didn't take me very long at all to feel like i was like they're them like these are exactly the right um, but i agree with you i think uh they them starting from let alone the very beginning scene with like the intro to like this is how the virus is kind of starting it ish right. like cutting to the important thing with you know this the main beginning of the story where it starts with sarah and joel and all that right um, i think one other thing i like to point out real quick as well before we move on is i think with mm -hmm. the with the idea that they started in the morning and stretched the day out um <clears throat> thinking about it in hindsight uh i feel like they they actually were able to make the world feel bigger because they right. made it like, hey, it's not just this one house and Sarah and Joel. This is all her neighbors. It's yeah, like, it's not all confined. You know, this is the whole neighborhood that are involved. And they actually, yep. um, not to jump too much into the in, you know, to the future, but um, we actually get to like interact with the Adlers a lot uh, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. and that's her neighbors, and they're only in the game. They only mention like once, yeah, <laughs> yeah, twice. Yeah, they and extend then, that universe uh, a little bit more, but then yeah. you get to feel like, it, to me, like, and that was the thing that they kind of portrayed. Which uh, I would say, if you want, Nathan, if we actually want to just go ahead and continue, yeah, um, we'll continue this conversation, but we'll get straight into the gameplay that kind of continues from where you know that point in the show ends, and then now we're kind of at that point where this whole scene in the beginning begins, but. To capitalize on what Shadow was saying, um, it extends that universe where now you actually include neighbors as real characters who have dialogue. You get to know them, but it kind of put you in the shoes of what if this happened in our neighborhood? And you kind of felt like, well, I know my neighbors. I care for them. I know these people. Um, and it feels that much more real. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's funny that they made the uh, Uncle Tommy a felon. <laughs> they're like you gotta go get me out of jail yeah, yeah. <laughs> well he wasn't a felon though but he no, got no, like in a I bar didn't. fight or something they just rested him i just thought that just you made him the felon yeah so. he's a felon to me <laughs> and then also well, sarah as well too right taking money mm -hmm. so she sells drugs yeah she's hardcore yeah, drugs oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, man i like everybody's that. a felon I gotta say real quick, I know we're just starting with this clip, but I was really happy to see this scene play out in the show. Yep. You like it? Because again, not everything was exactly the same, and even the dialogue was like slightly changed up just a little bit. But yeah. like again, like Kev said in the very beginning, the heart was like there the whole time. Like mm -hmm. The Last of Us, this was The Last of Us like happening. Yeah. Where did you get the money for this? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the one thing i liked about the show too and i don't know if they're going to change it later on but what i liked about it was one she wore the same shirt yeah, yeah. she wore the same shirt um the backpack like 
that Ellie has, like you know, later on, um, is the same. Yeah. I would say I, I believe it's the same, but also just the tone and the way they say things are the same as how they say it in the game. So that's kind of the little like Easter egg nods that, that I like is those certain moments they do a little bit similar, so it feels. And it feels it feels natural, like it feels okay. It's not like something they're saying it way different, or the the wordage is even different. Yeah, I think. Um, so then, <clears throat> sorry, something I was thinking about too is um, like, you know, we a lot of movies and TV shows, like, you know, they turn out to be really bad adaptions, like when it's like game to show or a game to movie, and I feel like a lot of times it's because they super super butcher it and they like want to really change it up for yeah. whatever reason. So usually I don't like too many differences, but mm -hmm. so I was watching some like reaction videos to like people, you know, playing the, watching the first episode of The Last of Us and such. And they did uh, make me think of something where, you know, as, as a fan of the game, especially The Last of Us, you know, like obviously I'm a big, big, big fan. Like I know a lot about it. Um, <clears throat> if everything was exactly the same, all of it, every single angle, everything, um, I don't know if I'd find it as like entertaining because I, I already know what's going to happen. I already know what's going on. Like, all there is is just kind of the suspense. Like, Kim was saying, like, at times where I'm like, it's come on, okay, like, hey, it's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. But I kind of like almost like a slight difference, like, yeah. right. the change to keep me on my toes. Right, exactly. Like, well, you know, <clears throat> we're watching it right now, so I know we can, we're already thinking yep. of those changes right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and the funny thing, too, is uh, I don't know if you heard anything about it, but I guess for the directors, like, all the people creating this show. It's still weird to me. I don't know why they said it, but I'm glad the first episode turned out really well was uh, they actually told them to not play or watch anything about the games. Really? Hmm. And that oh, was, no, that was the actually. weird thing. And that's actually what was the big turnoff for me for the longest time before this came out was I was like, why would you tell your actors who, why would you not give them the source material for what they're, going to be portraying and what they're going to be taking on that is so huge and loved by gamers and tell them not to do that yeah yeah no exactly i mean it's yeah true um well it's funny this is like kind of a side note but it's on the, what kill was saying on the lines of what you're saying um you know i know kill knows this i don't know if you know this nathan but you know i think obviously a lot of all of us here are like lord of the rings fans um you know, I read the, read the books once, like growing up, you know, but yeah. I don't really remember the end of the Fellowship of the Ring and like whatnot or whatever. But, you know, in, on the end of the Fellowship of the Ring, or, well, sorry, Return of the King, the last one. So, talk about War of the Rings now. Well, sorry, I, I'll keep it short. But, <laughs> but, but, but my, my point is, is on the end of Return of the King, uh, originally in Tolkien's writings, like, the hobbits come back to the shire and that whole like prophecy scene earlier on where they were like showing like oh sam and the guys are like being enslaved and orcs taking over the shire blah blah like that happened where like when they came back to the shire the shire was like dark and like mm -hmm. just ripped up and torn and it was like not a happy return necessarily yeah. but what we saw in the movie was like ah oh, okay they're like where have you been and it's like nice still it's like, okay cool this is kind of a happy ending i don't know if i would have like super loved it if they kept it straight to the book if i knew that was right gonna happen, is what i'm saying so i kind of like the differences with the some differences that are in the show so far as like either they're tiny or I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see that it might flat out change some things like fully. Right. <clears throat> and I think that's actually a huge difference too. just kind of watching this gameplay right now um, is uh, I just noticed how quick this whole scene was. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> everything happens, which is super intense. That's why I enjoyed it was it's straight in your face. It's happening right away. As soon as you start the game, you're like, what the heck? Like how, yeah. how is anything else in this game going to top this? Um, but it's just a masterpiece, you know, throughout the whole thing. Um, this shot exactly the same. <laughs> I like how all these are shot for shot. You know, yeah. the cameras in the back of the car, just like this. Um, but that whole scene with like, what was it, the grandma, or you know, the neighbors or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that, the that whole grandma, yeah. yeah, that whole scene right there. Um, <laughs> I like how they stretched it out and got you connected and felt comfortable and getting to know them. That it made you feel like. That's somebody a part of your family, yeah. right? You know, exactly. Something that's happening, yeah. and you're connected with them. So, but oh, I like right how here. they drew out some stuff. The um, this, this part right was too. cool. The freaking yeah. neighbor pissed me off, though, in the neighborhood, because she was like, "Joe, what the heck?" And then she yeah. went, like, checked on the people <laughs> who were dead, like or, the guys, like you know, gnawing on the other woman. 
You just get you know, tackled. Like, yeah, she just gets like tackled and eat. I'm like, well, that's what you get. So I, be nice. Yeah. yeah. Like he Joel told you to go back in your house and lock your door. So yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's like she's such you an know, idiot. <laughs> one thing I one thing I noticed uh, it's kind of just more funny than anything, but they, they weren't even on the road that long. And I noticed already though, kind of a big change. It looked like they're in the game. <clears throat> they basically live out in the country. Mm-hmm. In the show, they're straight up in a suburb, and then like we get a jump forward where they're in this kind of area driving away. Right. Whereas in the game, they were on the road for I think ten seconds, and they were already over here. And that's because I noticed they're not even in, in a suburb; like they're out in the country already. Right. <clears throat> but I think that's a good adaptation because it's still 2003, 2004, whatever. Um, but they still kept that essence. Like most people probably grew up in a suburb not the country so again it's just something that right. a, a viewer can like kind of relate to you know yeah, like oh more. that's basically my neighborhood yeah like well you know for those people who live in the country right. you know like, you see the gameplay and you're like that's my area yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah so it's one thing that I kind of noticed too was uh this whole scene right here <laughs> um or at least that other part where he was saying the, uh, you know, to, to back up. I like how that whole scene was it was actually played out differently. Because that one where the where the guy got tackled at the car. So oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, oof. yeah, yeah. So they did a car crash in the game, yep. but I remember so it was the airplane crashing. Yep. Yeah. So that's the one that thing. Was, if you actually want it, that was neat. Yeah. If you actually want to, or don't, you don't have really to worry about positive, but uh, this whole scene right here, though, that's what I enjoyed was I was like, as a gamer, you were kind of like, it's going to happen. They're going to get yeah, hit by the yeah, car. Yeah. And then the car <laughs> yes. stops. You're like, wait, what? And then after yeah. that, you see the plane. You're like, what is going to happen? And, yeah. like, and then just the plane crash. Like, what the heck? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, I was, doing I was the waiting same thing. for the square to come on the screen. <laughs> he didn't use the Konami code. No, I know. I, I, you know I've watched uh, like four or five reactions so far like there wasn't there that many because it just came out on the first episode <clears throat> and this this right here too this is something else i was kind of expecting and they kind of held off on that as well they obviously yep. changed that up you know but um i was expecting that car crash too like and of course that didn't happen and mm. but but the hint happened when the truck came up they were yep. able to avoid that and i was like i every single reaction i saw everyone was like oh. like i knew yeah. everyone that was expecting that to happen but it didn't yep. happen so I do like that they're making those changes because it's like right. it, it is a creative change. Yeah. Like they're still ending up out in the street having to run away because obviously the plane ended up crashing, so they ended up having to freaking leave their vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> but they can kind of change like how they get there, but as long as they still end up there, you know. Yep. Yeah. And I noticed that part right there kind of took place at the airplane thing. Like some of the things they'll kind of combine, um, but even like. Some of the major stuff, that's what I enjoyed, was that they they either kind of extended it, where whatever you expected to happen, they changed it, and then it happened slightly different. Or, you know, but they're not taking out major key points. So, like, even the point where, you know, they're like, oh, there's, you know, they have a baby, they have a kid, and on the side of the freeway, and they pass them, you know, somebody else will, you know, come along, pick them up. I was surprised that part they kept in, kind of, but then they don't take out major points that are going to be like, oh, why didn't they do that, you know? Right. Everything's roughly still there and exactly the same. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of it was the same, which which also made me really happy. Yeah. If I, if I remember correctly, the new The Last of Us remastered, like the, the new version that just came out, right? Or part one or whatever it's called. Um, nothing really changed, but just the graphics, right? And like the I believe it's just a graphic change. They didn't just change they, anything they didn't for gameplay. Really anything, right? As far as I know, as far as I know, they just rebuilt the game from the ground up. Okay. It wasn't just necessarily a reskin. Like, I think they, like, built it from the ground up with uh, new engine and whatnot. And, like, super yeah. you know, the graphics. <clears throat> they just basically made, re remade it. Like, we kept it the same for next gen. PS5. Yeah. 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 So, I haven't played that one the other because I don't have a PS5. No, I haven't. But... I haven't <laughs> the, one, the, the one thing I want to say right before this scene right here was going to happen, but, uh, the freaking zombies, dude. Like, in this game, it scares the crap from me. Like, how this oh, one's yeah. chasing him right now. I, I hate getting chased in games, yeah. but... Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. I thought oh, Left 4 yeah. Dead zombies were terrifying in in the game. But to see Left 4 Dead-type zombies sprinting at you, like, yeah, in the last yeah. of the show, was yeah. terrifying. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yep. So, oh, yeah, I'll just be honest freaky. here. 
I didn't I didn't cry or nothing during the scene in the show. Yeah, none of us did. Yeah. Is somebody cutting onions? Oh man. Should we give this a was... quiet moment here? We should, yeah. For respect. A couple of civilians in the area. Please advise. Eddie, what about Uncle Tommy? Maybe you decide to go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need Oh no. Sarah. Move your hands, baby. I know, baby. I know. Shut up, you're crying. <laughs> I mean, even just the pacing of the show, like you're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. I don't really want to ruin the moment to like commentate like over this part, but yeah. just even the, the emotion, like when I watched it, the emotion, um everything that was happening, I wasn't sure if like um Pedro Pascal was going to be able to hit that kind of peak of like the emotion and the power of the scene. It, it oh, met its point, did. though. It <laughs> met its point. Yeah, he did. I agree. I, I mean, I'm just, I mean, you know, I'm a fan of Last of Us. And uh, part of it to me really has to hit, hit, I mean, not part of it, all of it to some extent has to hit home as yeah. a fan of the game. And I, I felt, I know he's a great actor. I love him. But I was hoping they really would play the scene out where I felt the same way I felt in the game. And I did. I told Caleb, I said, I actually like kind of bawled, like almost. Because mm -hmm. every scene, even just the little things, I was like, that's from the game. That's from the game. This is a little bit different. That's fine. This is yeah. The Last of Us. You know, I felt I felt that. And this scene right here, I was, yeah, the way they, they played it out. Even, did you guys even notice the way the camera panned down when yep. Pascal fell down? That was yep. pretty much like track for track on the game. Um, even that, I was like almost crying for that reason. Like, I was like, this is beautiful, not just because they're actually getting it, like the scene where it feels yeah. like this is the same scene, but like some of the shots being almost the same just made me happy. Like being like, right. wow, they really did their best to recreate this. Yeah. Right. Well, and I don't want to call like something like traumatic basically, but it's like, but that's kind of how it feels is like as somebody who had played the game um, when it first came out um or the you know whether you picked up the remaster but especially those those people like shiloh or you you know who had picked it out picked it up uh, when it first came out yeah it's almost like it's like you're you're coming into the show like i heard that it's like shot for shot recreation it's that true adaptation that no other game show or movie exists they always deviate from it they change it this one that's what kind of sold me was just when i watched it, i was like this literally is shot for shot from it um but I, I think it's the thing is it's like when you're watching it, the soldier standing over him, putting the light in his face, almost the same facial expressions. And then knowing that they were told, don't look at the source, don't look at the game, but somehow it comes out almost similar to the game. It's like, like I said, I don't want to say traumatic, yeah. but it's like, I think that's what felt like it hit home was they were somehow able to recreate um, in live action the same angles, almost the same feelings, the same emotions um, on screen, and it felt sim it felt familiar. It felt similar, um, and it kind of pulled that same um, you know heartstrings or reactions that you had with the game, and you're able to almost kind of re-experience that feeling again. Uh, like uh, you could play you could play the game over and over again and be like, oh man, that was sad and feel the same. But I almost felt like the show kind of brought out that same yeah, feeling yeah. you had when you played yeah, the game for the yeah. first time yeah. and yeah. experienced that whole intro. I, was like, I thought that. they did a phenomenal yeah. job. I was gonna say what you just said on the end was you know you can you can kind of re-experience it to an extent and be like but but for the most part it's just because of the sad factor like uh, mm -hmm. yeah that was a sad touching scene. But you're never really going to experience how you first experienced yep. it and and i did have that feeling pretty much when i saw the scene from the show which also made me like almost a little more like emotional because again like even though the show i'm sure the show hasn't been in the making for this long but to me as a fan who played the original when it very first first came out this is something that was 10 years in the making for me and it also provided me that same emotional like spectrum that i first experienced when i very first played the game mm -hmm. and, uh, and i actually like, like was like i clapped to you i like literally yep. was, like i was by myself L literally blake was in bed you know because i was thinking about it you know and I, I don't mean to like interject too long but you know when i first played this game i was 19 years old right i'm almost 29 now and, and i have a wife now and obviously you guys know i have a kid as well 
So it was like before yeah. when I first experienced it, it was just like a, oh, that was crazy. Yeah, this is kind of emotional and this is pretty sad. That was just sad. And now it's like the same thing. Plus, yeah. I'm 10 years older now. I have a wife and a kid. Yeah, I, I kind of relate to that. Little, you can couple, physically couple, put yourself in some levels of these now. shoes now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so now you have a couple more tiers of different emotions you could talk on top of that. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that's it now has a whole new meaning to you exactly. um, at that point in life. Exactly. But, yeah. But yeah, I think um, I know after that, um, and we, we won't make the episode a little, you know, too much longer. But I know from here, obviously, continues with the twenty years later, um, and then you see Joel later. Their whole like there with the compound, um, you know, they have all the different stuff that they have um, that you know people that they meet, uh, things that happen, you know, the whole battery situation <laughs> and whatnot. Fireflies. Um, but I know for that part, that one seemed to be pretty much shot for shot as, as well as yeah. much as I can remember. Um, I couldn't remember Shiloh, but yeah. the dude that he was like supplying the drugs for, um, was he, did they have that same relationship in the game? Did that happen? Or was that just uh, somebody that was created in the show? I'll, I couldn't so, remember. So I'll be honest with you. Um, I remember half of it. And mm. I know when I watched the show, I, I did know what was changed in that mm. uh, area um, in the game. Okay, so let me just let me let me go back for a second. So in the show, Tess is like in this interrogation situation, basically, right. where like I forget the guy's name, but he's in control of her, and he has his men, and it's like almost like kind of a weird scene because it's like she's in trouble when she's the one who was expecting parts from him when he was selling it to somebody else. Right. Yeah. But it was a little, slightly so confusing. It was, for it was a little confusing, it. and I think part of that again was why, and I think if Blake watched it. As again, as a non-game fan, she probably would have been a little less confused. Maybe already kind of knew what it meant. But to me, in the game, and I think this is why I was a little confused, is because in the game, like she's not in that situation at all. She yeah. bought stuff from him. He ended up selling stuff to other people, and she found out yeah. he was in trouble. And she yeah. was like, uh, her and Joel got to him, and he was like, "Oh yeah, just just take it easy. I can, yeah. make, I can make this up, basically." And I remember you know, that part. All yeah. that crap, you know, that happens and. <clears throat> I know this is, which I don't, uh, which I don't think was too bad, considering like he wasn't a major character. He's yeah, a exactly. he's a key in the plot point, basically, right, but not right. a major key in that plot point enough to where you're like, really, they had to do that, you know, change exactly. these things. Yeah, um, yeah. They just did it a little bit differently, but I don't exactly. think it really took away from the show. You were just kind of like, oh, I expected this to happen, but they kind of take you a different route. But I exactly. don't think it's anything that changes it or makes it feel. And it feels weird when you play the game. But it doesn't right. change it where you're like, <laughs> you know, up in arms basically no, exactly. about the show. Like, exactly. it needs to be this way. Like, it right. could be a, it's an optional sort of thing. Exactly. I mean, it, the, and that's the thing with like life is it's like something could go down one way, it could go down another way. And I think it's kind of just that universe, alternate universe, you could say, where yeah. just that other life choice or something happened this way. Like, that's kind of how I thought about it. Right. Well, the uh, it, the situation. Nick and Han, still, still talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys keep going. <laughs> well, the, 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 I just put the last thought I had on that was just the situation still ended up being the same. You actually turn off your uh, webcam. <laughs> 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 the the situation still ended up being the same way. Um, the part was sold to the Fireflies, so it was still in the yeah. Fireflies' hands, and that character, whatever his name is, see, that's how mm. that's how that's how literally like not important he is. I forgot his name. Too. He ends up dying. Anyways, mm -hmm. he dies in the show as well and from an interaction with the Fireflies in right. the game. Or, yeah, and in the game, he gets killed by freaking Joel and Tess or like whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's dead regardless. And that's the very beginning of the game after the 20 years. So it's like same plot, same same point made, different, uh, well, same outcome, different, you know, journey there. But yeah, right. I Sorry, was just, no, no, you guys are good. I, I was honestly just gonna say something stupid because I, 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 I had a brain fart moment in the show because uh, you know the show starts out in twenty you know, two thousand three, right? And then it jumps to twenty twenty three, and I'm like, wait a minute, we're in twenty twenty three. Yeah, you're like, <sighs> I was like, the numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Yeah, like Black Ops, you know, from Call of Duty. Um, or I was like, what's that? Uh, that that um. Uh, that that Vine video where he's like, "What is that?" And he's like, "I'm calling the police." Is that the weed? And he puts his yeah. time on one and oh, one on like the microwave. The, does like the um, oh, what's that sci-fi show? The the intro. Um, it's like da 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 da. I don't know, but yeah, that that just went. Yeah, off losing me. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I 
I'm trying to remember the sci-fi show. Um, okay, first of all, you brought up Vine. <laughs> yeah, let's break this down. <laughs> Anyways, I won't go top too much track, but yeah, I thought that was funny. I wanted to bring you that just up. showed your age. You guys are yeah. uh, you guys are talking about like like you know like really important stuff, and I'm like, wait, it's 2023. <sighs> this is in 2023. <laughs> that did cross my mind too though actually watching it and yeah I, I thought that was kind of cool that they came out the show in 2023 so i wonder why they did that hmm. yeah i was Pandemic like Wait stuff a oh no. it's like the conspiracy spirits is real <laughs> <laughs> i wonder if the uh so i wonder if the game came out then in 2013 in the universe Ooh. yeah that's All right, I'm just gonna leave too. then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> drop the yeah, mic. Drop, drop. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, no, I thought I thought the same thing. The show decided 2003 because they're like, hey, 2023. But you can see in the game, anyways, that like smartphone that like mm-hmm. Sarah picks up when you know she's like 20 missed calls or blah blah whatever. Like that's definitely like an earlier like smartphone, but I don't think it was necessarily supposed to be as early as 2023. Yeah. Right. And I definitely think it was probably gonna be like a few years later, past 2023, when it's 20 years later, but. Mm-hmm. Again, it's, it's roughly what five, ten year, give or take, like area. So it's like that's right. We have some leeway with that. Like we're still going to be able to experience the same universe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been uh, to kind of give me an idea real quick because um, I've been watching. I keep getting those videos in my feed, Nathan, where it's the uh, they'll take different shows. You know, you have SpongeBob, Family Guy, uh, or YouTubers, and they do the '80s version of that. You know, those videos you sent me, like Bloodborne, if it was an '80s oh, film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those movies uh i was thinking i was like what if they did one that was like the last of us in the 80s and so it's like he it's like she has the foam but it's like the the brick phone yeah, or something around it's, like, the it's like the brick phone yes. they got like other people there there's like a shot where it's like the poster of the last of us you see joel it's almost like the doom so original dude, doom yeah, poster so, somebody's yeah some chick's like hanging on his leg looking up yes. like the <laughs> oh it just got paged it's like, yeah, it's pretty, 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 pretty cool, actually. That'd be kind of funny. That'd be oh, um, Joel, Joel's chest is just all like oily and hairy. Yeah, the whole yeah. movie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> combed back like a greaser. He's got the Sylvester Stallone haircut. Yes. He has to have a bandana. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really awesome. Alrighty, well, that's uh, about um, it, guys. Yeah, that's about it. No more talking now. The word's oh, over. I had more things, but okay. bye. No, go ahead. <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, uh, I wasn't sure how much, uh, how much more we're going to talk about the twenty years uh, part. So. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, no. If you want to talk about a little more, that's if you had anything else to say, that's that's fine. It's probably not even that really important of a thing necessarily. Kind of like what Nathan's saying, no. <laughs> but okay. uh, I was. Thinking, Anyways, uh, have a good night, guys. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like in the in the first part of the twenty years, like part. Uh, well, okay, well, hold on. I have two things. I totally jumped while I was even going to say. Before. You get one. You might want to. Yeah. <laughs> like Spider Man. Okay, okay. I'll do, I'll use the more important like thing. Okay. Um, is now a good time to talk about that little Easter egg? Uh yeah. oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, go for or it. You want you want to save that or? Uh no, because we were just gonna talk about everything here. Okay, so mm-hmm. um, this is Caleb knows because me and Caleb talked about it a little bit, but um, Nathan, um, I don't know how much you remember The Last of Us, and I don't think you played much of the multiplayer, so you might not know this, but cool little. Uh, fun fact. Um, so you notice in the in the show, first of all, they reuse a lot of the Last of Us music. In the yes, game, yes. Which I, I super love. Like the intro was legit, like the main theme of the Last of Us. First of all, so that was great. But something that was more of a nod to me, especially, is a lot of the people, like myself, even initially got the Last of Us when it first came out because of the story. Like we're just like that looks cool. I'm gonna get it. And a lot of us, most of us, didn't even know it had a multiplayer mode. Yeah, and the multiplayer mode was called factions, and it was a four v four survival crafting whatever. So, anyways, point is the factions. Ooh. Sorry, the factions mode. Karate chop. <laughs> <laughs> On the mic. <laughs> sorry, the factions mode in the main menu of the factions had a like a sort of a theme. It's its own theme. It had like a sort of like a drum kind of sound, like a dun 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 dun, dun whatever. It had this main menu music in factions uh, for multiplayer and. On the scene, like shortly after we're in the 20 years and Joel's back and he's um, downing some whiskey and like taking some pills and he's on the map and he's trying to pinpoint like Tommy's location and whatnot, yeah. we're playing that Factions music, like that menu music from Factions. Oh, I didn't even notice that. And I was just like, That's I immediately cool. went, oh, I kind of jumped out of my seat a little bit because me and John played, well, you guys know, I played the crap out of yeah. Factions. 
You should after, and I, everything. after I beat the game, you know, I, I yeah. played a crap ton of factions because I was so addicted to The Last of Us. And, uh, but anyways, I just, I love that. And if you guys didn't know that who are watching this, um, yeah, stuff to look out for, for yeah, sure. That's a good eye. <laughs> um, I, I honestly never would have caught that to be real because I didn't, like you said, I didn't play the multiplayer that much <clears> like I did play it, but not to a point where like, you know, I would have recognized the music. So no, that's cool. That's a good catch. But uh, something else I want to say real quick while well, it's on my mind, uh, it's more of a, I guess you could say like a artistic note, I guess, from the show that I noticed, um, is, you know, the part in the, in the episode, in the first episode where uh, they're like first introduced and we're like set in this new world and it's like, the first scene we see is this little girl come yeah. up. And she's going in and whatever, right? And at first, I thought I was like, "Oh, is this like the are these the are these the fireflies and like whatnot?" Which I still think think it was. But anyways, so she starts going in. I already kind of had a feeling what was going to happen, but in the game, you know, you drop in and you're just in this world of like, "Oh, this is a new world." It's kind of boring and mundane and whatnot. It looks like people are kind of given given slash do jobs, and I think that was it. But I liked that expanse they put in the show where they were able to kind of bring out more emotion into that scene because it, I'm not saying it was boring in the game, but in the show, they did two things they to really put that emotion there was with the little girl. I had a feeling it was going to happen, but, you know, basically they were just weeding out the infected. Yeah. And it, they, it was really sad to think like, oh, and then she had the, you know, the woman asked her, you know, um, and then after, you know, we give you a shot or like whatever, you know, I can all get you toys. anything. Yeah. You want to eat on all yeah. the toys. It's not good. Okay, cool. Okay, don't look. We're going to kill you now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. That was really, really sad. And it was like, wow, like, you know, that was, I mean, 20 years later, I guess that was the what was left of the, of the government thinking like, well, what can we do to at least try and like help cut the disease now? Well, let's find the people who are infected who will spread it and just kill them um, or save the ones who aren't. Um, so that was kind of crazy. But the other thing I wanted to mention was, uh, you know, when it actually starts to focus on Joel after the fact, and we're like, wow, that was kind of crazy. And you see Joel and there's these people and, you know, they go to the wagon and it's the same girl, you know, and it's her corpse, you know, in the wagon. Mm-hmm. And the girl's like, I can't do this. It's a little girl. Yeah. And then Joel's like, I think it, it was a really pivotal scene, even though it was like, it wasn't much because they really showed like Joel's humanity how broken it was um and also just the, the humanity of everyone uh where all they're doing at that point and their and their job was just tossing bodies in the fire and just like getting rid of them when we didn't even have that in the game and that was probably a, that could be a real possible like reality if that happened in real life like all the dead people like what are you gonna do you know you're gonna run out of graves or you know what i mean like you gotta burn them. I, I, yeah. I guess you're just gonna have to, have to mm-hmm. burn them but you know joel ended up grabbing you know that corpse and to him it was another it was another dead body and but and yet seeing it was a you know little girl of course he's you know gonna be thinking about about sarah yeah. but he was so broken you know with with sarah being gone and 20 years later that it was just like this sucks but you know nothing hurts worse than you know sarah being gone so he just did it like it was like nothing but right. as a viewer and you know and, and especially with that like dual like dual sense as a, as the fan who played the game and as a person who's seeing the show now, but also seeing these different like scenes of these little little like interjections we didn't have in the game, it's like wow, they're taking the same stuff, even the stuff that was like five seconds long from the game, and like making something out of it, like yeah. something big, like. So that's why I'm super excited for this show so far. Um, like Kel was saying in the very beginning, like they're kind of stretching it out, like they really kind of are. But it's like even the small stuff. And those small things that, at least to me, I know Cal feels the same way. I feel like it's actually making it feel a lot better, even. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> like, I'm really enjoying it. So, anyways, sorry, that was a little bit long. No, that's okay. Um, that's mm-hmm. that's a really good point. But I'm excited for what uh, the next episode is. I think it's supposed to drop Sunday. Or is that yeah, cool? I think so. so. What I thought about when the girl was on the chair and they were like, you get all the toys. I was thinking about, like, don't do the dance, boy. Yeah, it's too don't late. make the time that it has to be. <laughs> yeah. That's basically all that's going through my mind. <laughs> uh, Nathan's broken. Yeah. <laughs> Who hurt you? Yes. <laughs> well, that's good. All right. Well, I appreciate you getting on here, Shiloh, and then you know, talking about everything. So, like yeah. I said, I know 
We know that you're a huge fan of The Last of Us. So out of anybody here or anybody that I know, you'd be able to point out even like the subtlest of a difference between the show and the games. Um, But yeah, if you guys liked uh, the video here, we do plan on continuing and just kind of following along with the show. Maybe doing kind of more of this format, essentially, where we kind of just talk about some of the differences from the show and the game. I'm really hoping that there aren't any huge differences in the show um, because one, I know everybody who's the last of us fan of the, like of the games are probably just going to absolutely hate it. Basically it's going to turn into the, like, which I haven't watched it, but from what I've heard and done research, it's going to turn into another Witcher mm. or like Halo show, basically if they deviate from it, um, just the whole creativity thing, not following, like, yeah, you know, not following the books, whatnot. But yeah. if the show continues to follow along and be a true adaptation, as they say it's going to be with the game, um, I think it's going to be huge. Everyone's going to enjoy it, uh, and then we'll continue with um, some more recaps with the show as that show is progressing. Um, hopefully, we stay consistent and finish that till the end. Awesome. But, but yeah, no, thanks for coming on, Shiloh. Um, like I said, if you guys did like this and enjoyed it, um, you know, please like and uh you know like the video comment you know let us know what your guys thoughts were on the last of us um episode one from hbo your whole thoughts about it whether if you watch the show for the first time um as just a show viewer or uh, if you had played the games huge fan of it and finally got to sit down and watch the show uh tell us what your thoughts were um and we will continue and then see you guys in another video um again like Subscribe to the channel if you do like this content here, and we will see you guys in the next episode. All right. Thank you for having me, guys. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Nathan. (laughs) Yes, you're all welcome. (laughs) It's enough for all of you. (laughs) Have a good night, guys. All right. You guys as well. See you guys. See you.